So this is Ecosystem. It's a game where you have to manage an ecosystem pretty much. Um, so what we're gonna have is a random, um, I'm pretty sure it's randomly generated, pretty much just organisms here underwater in this terrain, this biome that we have. We're gonna be able to alter the biome and we're gonna see life around it change based on what that, uh, what that biome, how we alter the biome, pretty much just a simulator. It's not really a game as much as it is a simulator. Um, I would like to play a lot more of this in the future. I think this is a game that I really want to keep an eye out on. I think it has a ton of potential. So, Ecosystem is a game about life. At its heart are evolving virtual, virtual organisms who grow from synthetic DNA and live in a physically simulated ocean. The fittest pass on their genes to their offspring, so over time the world you create will be filled with unique creatures adapted to it. Um, this is something that I thought was really interesting in a bio class that I took. I always thought of natural selection as kind of negative selection, um, where... If something isn't fit, it will die off, which is in, it is kind of what it is, but it's more, um, it is more positive selection as opposed to nat or, um, negative selection, where it's more of the fact that organisms that survive well in their environment are going to live longer, um, which is going to make them have more time to pass on their genes and create more offspring, which in turn just keeps passing on their genes. And if those genes are, um, are the best quote unquote, the quote unquote best genes, then those genes are gonna get passed on even more and they're gonna survive even longer. And um, mates tend to look for those traits that provide a selective advantage. So um, like in most organisms, I'd say being very large is quote unquote a positive trait, um, which is why a lot of species, even humans it's observed, humans have a lot different of uh, reasoning other than just selecting for taller or larger individuals, but um, a lot of species tend to get bigger over time. Now there are a lot of also false falsivities when it comes to that too. Um, that's not necessarily true for um, for all organisms and there it's it's very complicated whenever you get into it. But anyway, that's the gist of it is it's more positive selection than it is negative selection, which is what a lot of people tend to think of whenever they think of natural selection. So when you select a plant or sessile organism, I don't know what the word sessile means. Let's go ahead and look that up real quick. All right, S-E-S-S-I-L-E. -S -S -E. Fixed in one place or immobile. Interesting, we've learned something here today, which is what I would really like to do with a lot of these streams. Let's go ahead and plant one of these. What do we want? So we have hydrilla, oh, is this the same thing? No. Each one will compete with others for resources, release seeds or spores onto the current, and eventually die from old age or starvation. So this is one thing that I was wondering, is if the plants and food sources, the initial food sources, do or do not have com competition within themselves, but it turns out that they do. I don't know if they're going to have natural selection and evolution acting on them. I don't know if that's implemented into the game quite yet, but either way, it's cool that they at least like compete with each other and will out-survive out each other, even if they don't necessarily evolve. Try planting a few different species. You can click on the tabs above the food source menu to see more of them. So let's see, we have plants. What are these? Corals and miscellaneous. It is time to evolve some animal life. Open it. No, we haven't even planted anything yet, game. Hold on, just give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to learn. Let's go ahead and plant some. Let's go ahead and put a hydrilla here. Where are our animal points? Okay, so we have 80 food points and we have 800 life points. So these are food points that we're using up. How do we pause? There we go. Um, yeah, I don't want it to, I, I don't want all my hydrilla to be spreading all over the place. Um, well, in that case, let's plant some, uh, let's plant some more of these plants, make it look kind of pretty and see which ones survive. And I guess that's going to be what we go with. Oh, big plant. Let's put the big plant up here. He can be the leader of all the plants. Um, okay. Open the creature menu F3. So let's see what creatures we have. So we have, so we're going to get some foragers in here. So what we're going to do is move over here and plant some more plants over in this region and we're gonna have like two kind of different biomes that hopefully don't interact with each other um, with separate ways of life within them and see what might happen I feel like that's the best way to get diversity within an ecosystem and then hopefully eventually your ecosystem has a population of 100 cool uh, what I want to do is try to raise terrain between my two ecosystems that I've created. Let's uh, let's try to do that real quick. Let's uh, let's boost this guy. This guy looks cool. Uh, what's he have? 
He has some eyes. He looks kind of like, kind of like a. Uh... Actually, I don't even know. He doesn't really look like anything that not I know of. This guy looks angry. Why aren't you moving? Genie is his name. Are we gonna pause? I don't think we are. Oh, we are. He's just not moving. Uh, that's not gonna be very beneficial to your evolution. I will tell you this much. It's gonna be slightly difficult for you to reproduce whenever you're just sitting here like a log. There he goes. Yep, Genie's dead. What's this guy? Donna is growing. Okay. What are your levels? I oh, she Donna's dead. Let's see what is doing good. Modicon. Modicon is doing pretty good. Oh, these guys look interesting. Um, I don't know why all the fish tend to swim sideways as opposed to, you know, facing straight up. But it's working for these guys, for the Modicon. The Telemords are also working, it seems like. The, so are the Silesians, I think is how you pronounce that. But yeah, this guy, uh, this guy gets it. He knows what he's doing. What about you? This guy looks cool. I want this guy to do good. He looks kind of like a plesiosaur, honestly. Just like the flat version of the plesiosaur. Kind of just stalemated. They all just, uh, I think they might be migrating. Shh, so majestic. We need to start like every good ecosystem with some, uh, with some hydrilla and some other hydrilla, I guess. What's this, Anubius? Cool. Go ahead and get some of you. Uh, we don't have any points left. I was a dumbass and used all of my points right there. Something I am kind of tempted to do is to get a carnivore and put it kind of in between all of these uh, these other populations that we have. I'm gonna try it. What's the worst that can happen? Oh my god, this one looks so happy. This is my spirit animal. I wish. I hope it's my spirit animal. How do I <gasps> Oh my god, this one's upside down! Why is your mouth right there? I think he's just swimming upside down. I don't even think every- I think he's shaped right, it's just he's doing it wrong. I get it, I get it, I do stuff wrong all the time. I'm terrible at life, but- Oh, what are these guys? They look like tubes, they're just a bunch of tubes. They uh... They look very much like a penis. That's like... A little bit odd, you know? Should we have an earthquake? I think we shall. Let's go all the way up to size 10 brush. So theoretically, if we had an earthquake, it caused a trench. Wow, this is uh, <laughs> this is really tough for my PC to handle right now. We're just gonna dig a whole trench through here and see what might, what might happen. I don't think this is gonna impact that much. I think in general, this is gonna be pretty insignificant at the moment. Maybe sometime down the line though, it might do something, I don't know. Trenches tend to have less light, which causes things like blobfish to form. Um, you know blobfish, like the uh, super creepy, but also kind of oddly cute looking fish. Um, yeah, those things, because I knew this at one point. I'm pretty sure this is correct. There isn't much energy down here, and so their bodily systems aren't... Uh, obviously, if you don't have a lot of energy, then you're not going to be able to survive very easily. Um, if there's not many plants to eat, energy in the basis of food, pretty much, is what I'm referencing. Um, you're not going to have much to eat, so your body cannot really do that much. Um, it's not going to be able to really function at much of a level. Um, so you need as little bodily systems as you can. So those blobfish has, have evolved to have incredibly efficient bodily systems is something else that impacts their look. I do know that, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. It looks like we have a cliche, like, seven-year-old drawing of a bird over here. What's this thing? This looks kind of like a snake, but kind of scarier, honestly. It's a really scary snake, a, uh, Telemorid. His name's Hay. I like your name. I like you, Hay. You know what we're gonna do? Hey, since I like you so much, we're gonna upgrade you. <laughs> I don't know what we did to upgrade you. Let's see, does that make you bigger? Are you bigger now? Faster maybe? I don't know, let's upgrade you again. Hay is gonna be our super species. I hope this isn't the carnivore that we we're upgrading. If it is, then uh, okay, he's a forager. He's looking for mates. Well, there's one down here, I think. Are you male or female or does it not tell me? I'm gonna assume Hay is a male name. Sylvia is a female name. 
Let's see if Sylvia and Hay get along. If they can, uh, they can hit the hay with each other. My goal is to find Kyogre. Incredibly unlikely. The chances of that happening are just probably one in less than less than one in a million. But if that happened, I would probably shit my pants. Oh, this is a predator. Uh, did we just put that in? We didn't. So this must have been the one that we made earlier. How many of them are there? Catahack. They're not actually on this list, which is why I didn't see them earlier. But we do have some predators around, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't add in another one. Dang, this thing is a, an absolute monstrosity. This would be terrifying to see swimming at you. Look at how big those flippers are. Wow, this thing is ugly as shit. It's really cool, though, and I like it. Um, I really want this thing to survive. So, we're going to go F4, and we're going to upgrade you, my friend. Congrats. Congratulations, you get upgraded too. And you. Uh, I don't actually know if that was the right species. Anyone in the ravine gets an automatic upgrade. Are you? Yes, you are in the ravine. I don't know what you are, but you're getting upgraded. Wow, our, uh, I think these are the predators too, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're doing a very good job. I think they're my pick to win right now. I don't know what they're winning. I don't know how you win, but they're, uh, they're my pick. Ooh, what are you? I like this thing. It's right side up too. Oh, how perfect. Patty the Van Ray. You know what this deserves? This deserves an upgrade. Boosted. Woot woot. This thing I want. I want it. I must have it. It's right side up now. Oh my god. There is one lonely quilling. Shall we see him off? Dang. These things were around for a while. Maybe, maybe. Come on, I kind of just want her to die now, so I can give her a salute. Dolly, is she is she floating to the top? Is that what's happening? I think that might be what's happening. She, it's like she got flushed, but they didn't flush the toilet correctly, and now she had to go halfway down the drain, and uh, and she uh, she came back up. She came back up the tube, and she's gonna be left for somebody else to. Uh, Someone else is going to have to finish the deed off. Can someone just finish that deed off? My arm is getting tired. This quilling, if she would have reproduced with any of the other quillings, probably would have the best babies. Maybe this is why they stayed around for so long. They're like tortoises of the sea. We found the stars of the sea, and now we found the tortoise of the sea. We'll just uh, we'll just salute her off whenever. We'll just salute her off whenever the time comes. There are, oh my god, there are 83 catahawks. Oh my lord. They might be going crazy. The catahacks may obliterate the rest of the entire population of everything, and then might have to start feeding on themselves. And what if we put in a big mountain? Let's let's uh let's make a mountain. We're just gonna make a big ass. You know what? Screw it. We're not even making a mountain. We're just gonna make a pee. No, we're gonna make a uh a peak. That's what I was gonna say. Of course it is. All right, we're gonna take this all the way up. All right. Do I have any reasoning for what we're doing right now? No. I don't. Um, this is completely random. It's a completely random event that occurs in nature all the time, where you just have like these big juts of rock form from the uh, form from the ground. Cool. I hope they like it. It caught my eye anyway, which is not a good thing in most ecosystems because if you're swimming by, if we're say a carnivore and we're just going, you know, do 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 do, just enjoying my day. Uh-oh, I'm a little bit hungry. This is a bad example. Everything is either green or blue. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Or, we'll just be swimming and we'll say... Um, we will say... Oh, what's this thing? Because it kind of stands out and it, compared to the background... It's small, it's uh, it's white, it's beautiful, um, but it also looks very tasty to our hungry carnivore booty right now. So we go nom nom nom, eat it, out of the ecosystem. These guys tend to stay around this pillar that we made. This is something that I didn't expect to happen. Um, mostly based on AI, but I could see why it is happening. Um, I didn't think this would be implemented into the game quite yet, even though it has been shown to happen down near the bottom, down near the plants. Um, so as you can see, 
or may not be able to see, there are a lot of species right here. But like I said, you may not be able to see them because they stand out with, they stand in, sorry, with the plants. Um, so they're hard to see. This goes kind of the same logic, the same line of thinking that we were just talking about with the, with the standing out in a particular crowd, but that was just in terms of standing out against other individuals. This is more blending in with the background. So it's kind of the same logic, but different. Um, so a group of these, what are they called? I think these are catahacks. A group of the white catahacks has migrated over here to the white stone and they tend to be hanging around here. Now, I'd assume, and I'm surprised this is in the AI, if you're a predator and you're swimming along, you're a lot less likely to see these hanging around over here, especially if you're, say, a shark with very bad vision, than you would to see anything over here, standing out, not standing out, or yes, standing out in the not colored background. So these things hanging around over here make sense because they're less likely to be noticed by a predator. Now it can go bad for things like this that do stand out against the white background. That's gonna make them more likely to be chosen for potential food and a potential target. But uh, going on from that, this is something that I am incredibly interested in. Um, going on from that, so see, we have a lot of the white ca catahacks over here hanging around this pillar, but I'm sure if we went somewhere else, say, let's speed around, try to find, so there are more white catahacks over here that have not made their way over to the pillar yet. Now, those ones over at the pillar are gonna keep reproducing with each other. These ones over here are gonna keep reproducing with each other. There will be mutations in each individual population, but those mutations will not be the same. And it will, will get to a point eventually, um, considering this keeps happening in this way and they have enough individuals to continue to reproduce and they don't reproduce with each other um, what will eventually happen is um, mutations will accumulate over here Muta different mutations completely unique mutations will accumulate um, okay wherever the pillar species went different unique mutations will accumulate over that way and what you're gonna see is a different species rise up in either of the two I mean really they're both kind of diverging from each other, but one of them gets the technicality of keeping the species name. It will also happen in different species and different populations around as well. Oh, here's the pillar. Um, but yeah, eventually one of these is going to diverge enough that they won't be able to to uh, mate with the other population. Um, even though they're not really able to now because of distance and it doesn't logically make sense for them to. Um they will physically not be able to at some point um, or genetically not be able to and that is when speciation occurs and speciation and that is the that in general is the basis of evolution and how evolution occurs this is the playable demo that i am playing on steam right now um, it is available for free on steam right now early access go drop them a follow on twitter if you liked what you saw um Speaking of follows, you should go follow me on Twitter. Um, if you're watching the YouTube video, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment for anything you might want to see um, regarding this game or any other ecology-based, wildlife-based games you may want to see. Um, but either way, yeah, thank you so much for watching.